welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for joining me once again today right here on Actual English. I am Jennifer Clyde. Now it's time for lesson 55 and let's jump on over to business dinners. Now I would say business dinners are slightly different from uh, business or company get-togethers where you get together with your boss or your co-workers, have a few drinks and have a good time. Business dinners are a bit more formal, right? You may meet up with a business partner or even a client and you may have to keep it very formal and try not to get too casual. There are things you should avoid talking about, questions you should avoid asking, and many more. So let's talk about what you could possibly do to enjoy these business dinners. Let's begin with today's actual talk. Peter, good news. Oh, yeah? Yeah, remember that business meeting I was telling you about? Yes. It went really well. Oh, okay. So now I'm taking all of the potential clients out to a formal dinner. Okay, so they haven't signed a contract yet. Not quite yet, mm, but, but they're interested enough the to right go out to a dinner. Exactly. So now I've got another problem. Mm. I've never been to a formal dinner before. Formal dinner? Well, what are you wearing? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe a suit, pants. No? no. If you're doing business in Korea as a female, I think it's best to use that to your best ability um, and wear a nice uh, black dress. A black dress. Yeah. So if I'm wearing a dress, no, no color to make it pop. I Fun. Think, I think formal is better in this situation. Um, and where are you taking them? Oh, I'm taking them to a Korean restaurant because most of them are foreign clients who've never experienced Korean cuisine before. Okay. Um, so we're using chopsticks. <laughs> mm, make sure forks are available for some of the foreigners. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, what should I talk about at the dinner table? Well, there are three things you should not talk about. Okay, things I should not talk about. Religion. <laughs> okay. Politics. And uh, anything personal, like your boyfriend, whatever. All right, I don't, I don't want to... <laughs> Keep it business-like, um, especially if you're drinking. Um, mm -hmm. Try not to drink as much as they do. Keep them lubricated, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, sip water and, and stay away from getting too happy. <laughs> All right, well, keep it friendly, but I should sip water while they're drinking wine. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? I've never heard that. Before, that's a good tip. Well, you want to be sharper than they are. <laughs> right. Okay, so you're saying that I should wear a black dress because mm -hmm. that's a simple black dress? Yes. Oh, I think they're called LBDs, aren't they? A little black dress. No idea. <laughs> should wear that. Stay away from politics, mm -hmm. religion, and mm -hmm. personal stuff. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's a no brainer. You'll do well. Can I ask them about personal stuff? No. Oh, okay. I should stay away from that too. All right, thanks. As always, that was a wonderful conversation between Peter and, of course, Joanne. They were talking about business dinners. I would say this week, it's kind of a continuation of what's happening with Joanne. Uh, she began by talking about having to write a business email for a friend of hers uh, that was looking for a potential business partner. Mm. He was interested in bringing in or importing Australian wine to Korea. And then she talked about a business meeting, getting together with them, talking about their purpose, what their goal was, what their aim was. And today, they talked about their business dinner. Well, Joanne did mention that they haven't signed a contract yet, but they seem to be interested. So they are going to get together. Now, as always, Peter has given us some great information and great tips, so let's check it out together. Here we go. Now, Joanne says, Peter, good news, uh-huh. Remember that business meeting I was talking about? Do you remember that business meeting I was talking about? And she says it went really well. If something goes well, here it's in the past, so it's went well, it means that you succeeded in doing something. You got the results you wanted. It went really well. It worked out. So now I'm taking all of the potential clients out. You take somebody out to something. In this case, to a formal dinner. 
So it's kind of like a business dinner, right? Okay, here we go. Now, Peter says, okay, so they haven't signed a contract yet. Now, why is he saying this? Because she said potential business partners. Now, if they signed a contract, she would have said, hey, I'm going to take my business partners out to a formal dinner. But she said potential, so they have not signed a contract yet. Did you catch that? Well, Peter says, so they haven't. They have not signed a contract yet, but they're interested enough to go out to dinner. Now, uh, Joanne did mention a dinner, but I would say it sounds a lot smoother without the a.、Uh. So they're going out to dinner. Joanne says, exactly, that's right. So now I've got another problem. She's full of problems this week, right? Anyhow, she says, I've never been to a formal dinner before. Hmm. She's learning lots from Peter this week. So am I, actually. Okay, well, Peter says, Well, what are you wearing? Ah, that's right. What you wear to these formal meetings or formal dinners is very important as well. It's all about giving someone a good impression of yourself. So he asks, What are you wearing to the dinner? She says, Oh, I don't know. She has no clue. She says, Maybe a suit? Pants. Notice she brings the end up, which means she's not sure.、Mm -hmm. She's questioning this. So she's saying maybe a suit,、mm, pants. And then Peter says, What? No, he says, wear a nice black dress. He does give an example of what it's like in Korea. A little bit of Korean culture, but I've omitted that to make it simple. He says, No, don't wear a suit, don't wear pants, but wear a nice dress. He says, Wear a nice dress. Black dress. You could never go wrong with a nice little black dress. Anyhow, she says a black dress, no color, to make it pop, to make it fun. Okay. Often, colors, colorful clothes can make、uh, the atmosphere very fun, right? It can make you pop, make you stand out from a crowd. But he's saying, no, 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 keep it simple, keep it black. Okay, so she says no color to make it pop, no color to make it fun. And he says, no, I think formal is better in this situation. Maybe not in other situations, but in this situation, since it is a formal dinner, yeah, formal is better. A black dress can be formal. So he says, where are you taking them? Now he's talking about where. Okay, where are you going to have this business dinner? She says, I'm taking them to where? A Korean restaurant because most of them are what? Foreign clients who've never experienced Korean cuisine before. We've talked about cuisine. Now they have not experienced cuisine, Korean cuisine before. Cuisine is what? Food we're talking about. Something that is. Uh, prepared over a long time, some kind of food that takes a long time to make. We're not talking about quick snacks at all, like burgers or french fries or kimbap, nothing like that. Cuisine is like a meal, okay? Yori, it's close to yori. So she says most of them are foreign clients and they have never experienced Korean cuisine before, meaning they have never eaten, they have never tried Korean food before. So Peter says, okay. Make sure, make sure forks are available for some of the foreigners. We'll take a look at this pattern later on. Make sure something something means do it. It is a must. You have to do it. Remember to do it. So he says, make sure forks are available for some of the foreigners, for some of the foreign clients. Now, of course, Joanne says, that's a good idea.、Mm -hmm. What should I talk about? At the dinner table. At the dinner table, okay, basically means while they have dinner. What should I talk about at the dinner table? Don't use your phone at the dinner table. Leave your phone in your room. Don't bring it to the dinner table. Basically means at the dining table while you are eating. So she asks, What should I talk about while we eat? What should I talk about at dinner, at this business dinner? 
Well, Peter says, well, there are three things you should not talk about. And we may know this already, but what are those three things you should not talk about? Religion, politics, and anything personal like your boyfriend. Now, this is a given rule you all should remember. I know it's a very Korean thing to ask questions, not because you want to be nosy, uh, not because you have to know, but uh, I think it's maybe Korean culture or I don't know, the warmness that we have. We like to share with others, ask questions about, are you married? How many children do you have? How old are you? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? We like to ask those questions, but keep in mind that is a very Korean thing. It's okay to do it in Korea, but foreigners, some foreigners will find it very offending. So you don't want to ask questions or talk about those topics. So once again, he says there are three things you should not talk about. Religion, politics, and anything personal, such as yeah, your boyfriend. All right, she says. So she understands. She says, keep it business-like. Keep something so-and-so, maintain the situation, right? So she says, okay, keep it. It meaning the conversation or the dinner, perhaps, business-like, okay? Especially if you're drinking, try not to. Try not to, once again. Try not to drink as much as they do, okay? Not as much as they do. You can drink, but don't drink as much as they do. Okay, and then he says, keep them lubricated, but sip water and stay away from getting too happy. Let's take a look at this. So he says, don't get too friendly. Don't make it into maybe a casual dinner. Keep it formal. Keep it businesslike. And especially if you have drinks. If you are drinking alcohol, do not drink as much as they do. Drink less than them. And he says, keep them lubricated. Okay, we talked about this word as well. Keep somebody lubricated. It means to maybe perhaps drink, provide alcohol, right? You know, it means to drink and um, keep them entertained with a bit of alcohol. But sip water. Sip is what? We'll take a look at that word later on. But sip, it's usually when you're taking small sips of something. We can sip maybe coffee, or if the soup is too hot, you can sip a little bit of it, okay? You're not drinking a whole lot of it or eating a whole lot of something at once. You're taking little sips, little drinks, okay? So sip water and stay away from getting too happy. Don't get too excited. Don't get too drunk when they are not drunk. Yeah, I think that's a great tip too. Anyhow, Joanne says, oh, right, keep it friendly. But I should sip water while they drink or while they are drinking wine. That's a good tip, she says. Okay, that's a good tip. And then moving on, he says, well, you want to be sharper than they are. If you see that somebody is very sharp, sharpuhada, what does that mean? I think in Korea when you say, wow, hmm. I think it means that he or she looks very intelligent on the outside. He or she is very clean cut. But in this case, well, Peter is saying you want to be sharper than they are. It means intelligent, clever, right? In this case, perhaps he's talking about being sober, not drunk. Okay, so you don't want to be as drunk as they are. You want to be sharper than they are. Now, Joanne says, right, okay, so you're saying. Now, she's repeating exactly what he has said so far, just to make sure she understood him. So you're saying that I should wear a black dress. Okay, and then she says, I think they're called LBDs. They're called LBDs. Now, LBD, that's short for little black dress. So it's a girl thing, I think. LBD, just keep it in mind. So she says, okay, so you're saying, you're saying I should wear a black dress. And then moving on, she says, stay away from politics. Do not talk about politics, religion, and personal stuff. Now she's understood clearly. And then Peter says, yeah, and I think it's a no-brainer. You'll do well, he says. What is a no-brainer? Brain is 뇌. But if we say something is a no-brainer, 
you're saying it is a very easy thing to do. It's very simple, it's very easy. You don't have to think much to do it. So, I think it's a no-brainer meaning, I think it's really easy and you'll do well. Now, lastly, Joanne says, okay, I understand now what I should wear, what I shouldn't talk about. And she asks this question, can I ask them about personal stuff? Can I ask them questions about personal things? And he says, no, no, don't do it. Okay, so she says, I should stay away from that too. That meaning asking personal questions. All right, thanks. And that brings us to an end to today's actual talk conversation. All right, I thought that was a very fun and interesting uh, conversation. Let's have a listen to it one more time. Peter, good news. Oh, yeah? Yeah, remember <laughs> that business meeting I was telling you about? Yes. It went really well. Oh, okay. So now I'm taking all of the potential clients out to a formal dinner. Okay, so they haven't signed a contract yet. Not quite yet, mm, but, it's but going they're interested enough the to right go out to a dinner. Exactly. So now I've got another problem. Mm. I've never been to a formal dinner before. Formal dinner. Well, what are you wearing? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe a suit, pants. No. no. If you're doing business in Korea as a female, I think it's best to use that to your best ability um, and wear a nice uh, black dress. A black dress? Yeah. So if I'm wearing a dress, no, no color to make it pop? I Fun? Think, I think formal is better in this situation. Um, and where are you taking them? Oh, I'm taking them to a Korean restaurant because most of them are foreign clients who've never experienced... Korean cuisine before. Okay. Um, so we're using chopsticks. <laughs> mm, make sure forks are available for some of the foreigners. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, what should I talk about at the dinner table? Well, there are three things you should not talk about. Okay, things I should not talk about. Religion. <laughs> okay. Politics. And uh, anything personal, like your boyfriend, whatever. All right, I don't, I don't want to... <laughs> Keep it business-like. Um, Especially if you're drinking, um, mm -hmm. try not to drink as much as they do. Keep them lubricated, but mm -hmm. um, you know, sip water and, and stay away from getting too happy. <laughs> All right. Well, keep it friendly, but I should sip water while they're drinking wine. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? I've never heard that before. That's a good tip. Well, you want to be sharper than they are. <laughs> right. Okay. So you're saying that I should wear a black dress because mm -hmm. that's a simple black dress? Yes. Oh, I think they're called LBDs, aren't they? A little black dress. No idea. <laughs> Should wear that. Stay away from politics, mm -hmm. religion, and mm -hmm. personal stuff. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's a no-brainer. You'll do well. Can I ask them about personal stuff? No. Oh, okay. I should stay away from that too. All right. Thanks. Well, I'm back with some vocab words and some wonderful patterns for you all to practice with me. Let's take a look at some words. We've got four words for you. Lubricate. Lubricate. Now, Peter was talking about how Joanne should sip water. Try not to drink as much as the others do. Now, lubricate here is, the stress goes right here on the first syllable, lubricate lubricate. So basically you're saying to use alcohol or to drink alcohol to make a situation or maybe an environment a lot smoother. Okay, provide a few drinks to make it a bit casual or friendly perhaps to make it smooth. What about sip? As I did mention, we can sip coffee. Okay, 조금 조금 한 모금 한 모금 마시다. That's, uh, that's sip. We can sip soup that's very hot or sip drinks that are very hot as well. Now sharp, as I did mention, it can mean that it's pointy. Okay, you can have a sharp pencil. Sharp could also mean intelligent. And some other synonyms for sharp are keen, mentally acute. Okay, you're aware of what's happening. And another one is Clever, as I mentioned, intelligent. What about no-brainer? Yeah, Peter said, hey, it's a no-brainer. You'll do well, you'll do fine, don't worry. A no-brainer means it's a very easy thing. Hey, it's a no-brainer. It's an easy thing to do, got it? Okay, now let's take you to some patterns for today. Now, he mentioned something about making sure there are forks 
available for the foreign guests or the foreign clients, right? So make sure plus noun is or are available for somebody. To help you understand, here is a sample sentence. I always make sure forks are available for foreign or foreigner guests, okay? I always make sure forks are available for foreign or foreigner guests. Another one, you can even tell someone, make sure bottled water is available for the guests when they arrive. So perhaps you're having a party at home or you're planning a picnic and you're running a bit late. So you have your friends or your kids that will be there before you. You can say, hey, make sure bottled water is available. Okay, for who? For the guests when they arrive. Here is our next pattern. Keep something a certain way. Just add an adjective. Here's a sample sentence. Hey, keep it quiet. Maintain that situation. Keep it quiet. The babies are asleep. The babies are sleeping, so hey, keep your voices down. Keep it quiet. Another one, keep your answers short. This is maybe advice you can give someone who is preparing for an English interview. Uh, it's not the best idea to keep your answers too short, but don't get into every single detail. Make them simple and short and interesting. So perhaps you can tell your friend, hey, keep your answers short. One more time, keep your answers short. Okay, here we go with another one. Stay away from something or doing something. Here we go. Stay away from places with fluorescent lights on your first date. This is my advice to all of our male viewers out there. If you're not married, it's fine. Even if you're married, if you plan on taking um, your female friend out to dinner on a very special occasion, or if you want to impress someone, Stay away from places with fluorescent lights on your first date or on a date. Fluorescent lights is in Korean, 형광등, okay, white lights. Girls do not like that, so don't go there if it's got fluorescent lights. Another one, stay away from verb ing. Stay away from getting too excited. Stay away from getting too excited at business dinners. After all, it is a formal business dinner, so that is something you can keep in mind. And one last sentence. Stay away from verb ing, asking personal questions. One more time. Stay away from asking personal questions. All right, job well done. Once I attended my father's business um, dinner, uh, one thing that you really have to remember is to dress properly. Uh, you can't wear any jeans or any um, skirts that is shorter than um, your school uniforms or um, that has to be appropriate and formal because you're meeting a lot of business uh, men or business um, CEOs which they expect you to dress in a formal style like a suit or a dress and um, you're actually part of the business and you're a face of the business so you have to be um, dressed like one and also your language has to change uh, your language cannot be um, friendly but in formal way so instead of can I you should really consider saying may I or I should or something like um, polite words. Now, of course, Jenny is quite young, still quite young, so she probably didn't have many opportunities to attend formal business dinners, but she did mention that she has been to her father's business dinner once, right? So she's told us all about that. Let's take a look at what she said. She says, once I attended my father's business dinner. You can say I went to, but try saying I attended a certain business dinner or attended a certain event. Once I attended my father's business dinner. One thing that you really have to remember is what? To dress properly. That's right. After all, it is a formal meeting. It is a formal dinner. So your clothing, what you wear is important. 
So here we go one more time. I think that you really have to remember to dress properly, wear the right clothes. You should dress appropriately and formally. So formal, we all know formally. If you dress formally, we're talking about perhaps、uh, wearing a suit, right? And for women, a nice dress, perhaps that's dressing formally. But what about to dress appropriately?、Uh, to dress appropriately means to dress according to the situation. If it is a party, dress as you would to a party. If it is a funeral. You should dress appropriately as well, which would be to wear something black. Okay, so wear something proper for that situation or for that event means to dress appropriately. What about this one? You're actually a part of the business. Okay, a part of, and also the face of your business. Hmm, that's right. I think we also say this in Korean. Ah,、uh, 회사를 대표하다, 회사의 얼굴이다. Exactly in English as well. You can say also you are the face of your business. You represent your business, so it's very important as to what you wear. And one last sentence. She said, instead of "Can I?" You should really consider, think about. Okay, saying "May I?" or "Should I?" So try to use more polite words or formal words instead of "Can I?" which is quite casual. Okay, so it's very important what you say and what you wear and what you do at these formal dinners. So keep these tips in mind. And thanks to Jenny once again. All right, everyone, that is a wrap. Once I attended my father's business、um, dinner.、Uh, one thing that you really have to remember is to dress properly.、Uh, you can't wear any jeans or any、um, skirts that is shorter than.、Um, Your school uniforms, or、um, that has to be appropriate and formal because you're meeting a lot of business、uh, men or business、um, CEOs, which they expect you to dress in a formal style like a suit or a dress, and、um, you're actually part of the business and you're a face of the business, so you have to be.、Um, Dressed like one, and also your language has to change.、Uh, your language cannot be、um, friendly, but in formal way. So instead of "Can I?", you should really consider saying "May I?" or "I should," or something like、um, polite words. Now we have wrapped up a whole category of business. That was a full week of business topics. And once again, I do want to thank our viewer for posting up the topic. He or she wanted me to deal with business topics, and I hope that these five topics or lessons helped you out a lot. Next time, we'll start with a brand new topic. We'll move over to bank-related topics. We'll talk about automated teller machines, also known as ATMs. ATMs. So we'll talk about what we. Can do at ATMs or with ATMs. Transfer money, wire money, withdraw money, and of course you can organize your bank book as well. There's lots you can do though. You can do there. Okay. In the meantime, come to our homepage if you want me to maybe talk about a certain topic. You're more than welcome to post it up. Come to our homepage at www.ebse.co.kr, and that wraps up today's lesson. Hope you had a great week with me. I'll catch you again next week. Bye for now, everyone.